Now with their thoughts on the weather, it's a Statler and Waldorf of the Weather Centre, our very own Muppets, Philip Avery and Dan Corbett. So Dan, yet again you bring me here <laughs> to the salubrious surroundings of the BBC roof. It's not raining yet. Uh, on just after the anniversary of the uh, great storm. So where were you? I was actually in the States, but uh, I bet you've probably got some stories. Uh, How about well, you? As ever, yes. 20 years ago, just starting out in my meteorological career, I was down in the Portsmouth area getting trained up by the Navy. Uh, got woken up on the night itself, scaffolding flying here, there and everywhere. Think back to that storm. Do you remember how many people back then said, was that storm related to global warming? I can tell you exactly how many people asked me about global warming that day. Zero. Absolutely zero. Which is very interesting. Compared to you, today? Yeah. And how shows many you people... how times change and how the whole perception about weather and its impact is really, really changing. And it's something that we have to be conscious of, uh, obviously, on a daily basis almost, not just with the big events. If, if, well, for a, a big flooding event, finally we can, somebody can say, whoever, uh, a reporter or a journalist and say, ah, oh, that's global warming. And indirectly in some respects, yes it might be, but it's a little bit too easy and there's too much, there's a bit more science to that. But what we need to do, I think, we need to be the voice of reason and explain this is what's going on and this is the, you know, this is what the storm relates to. It's very difficult to get, the, I find, to get the right sense of proportion across. We say three or four inches of rain, but I'm still not sure that the public actually understand how that suddenly becomes five feet, ten feet of water in their basements, in their front rooms. Yeah. And the impact, of course, changes all the time with the geography. An inch of snow in London can be chaos. An inch of snow in Scotland, happy days. Yeah. You know, get the toboggans yeah. out, you know, get the snowball fights going, get the snowman made. Hold on a sec. I've got to go and do a broadcast. Let's do it again. See you. Bye. Well, if talking ever becomes an Olympic sport, there are two golds there right away. Phil and Dan.